Chapter 10.1, Algebra 2, Exploring Conic Sections. What we're going to learn in this section is how to graph conic sections and how to identify conic sections. Okay, really, what is a conic section? It is a curve formed around the intersection of a plane and a double cone. By changing the inclination of the plane, you can create a circle. See how we cut the plane straight through parallel. A parabola, we come in at an angle. An ellipse, we come in at an angle and cut through both sides. Or a hyperbola, we go vertical through two edges of the cones. So you can use lines of symmetry to graph any conic section. So graphing a circle. Graph the equation x squared plus y squared equals 25. Describe the graph and its lines of symmetry and then find the domain and range. Well, start with uh, x equals negative 25, plug it in, you get y equals 0. When x equals negative 4, plug it in, you get y equals plus or minus 3, so on and so forth. Okay, so you find all the values of x, all numbers between negative 5 and 5, and you find all, uh, all values of y, all numbers between 5 and negative 5. And then you plot the points, and what do you notice? And you make a circle. We'll talk about that in more detail later. To graph with the circles a radius of 5, the center is at the origin. Every line through the center is a line of symmetry. Recall from chapter 2 that you can use set notations to, to describe the domain or range. In this example, the domain is x is all real numbers between negative 5 and 5, and the range is all real numbers between negative 5 and 5. Okay, so that was a circle. So, graph the equation 9x squared plus 16y squared equals 144. Describe the graph and the lines of symmetry. Then find the domain and range. So, make y 0, solve for x. x would be negative 4. Make x negative 3, solve for y. Make x 0, solve for y. So on and so forth. So, you plot all the points. And here's what you find. The graph is an ellipse. The center is at the origin. It has two lines of symmetry. All right, the x-axis and the y-axis. The center is at the origin. The domain would be all real numbers between 4 and negative 4. And the range is all real numbers between negative 3 and 3. So right now, we're just plotting points and, and, and just graphing it. So you notice how this one makes an ellipse. Now, graphing a hyperbola. Graph the equation x squared minus y squared equals 9. Describe the graph and its lines of symmetry. So, again, make value 0 and go from there. So, when we start as x equals to negative 5, y equals plus or minus 4. When x is negative 4, y equals plus or minus 2.6. When x equals negative 3, y equals 0. Now notice, y doesn't exist when x has values of negative 2 to positive 2. There are no y values for those. Okay, when you come back, x is 3, y is 0, x is 4, y is plus or minus 2.6. When x is 5, y is plus or minus 4. So when you plot the points, you notice basically you have two parabolas. The graph is a hyperbola that consists of two branches. The center is at the origin. And it has two lines of symmetry, again, the x-axis and the y-axis. The domain of x is it's got to be greater than negative, or sorry, less than negative 3 or greater than 3. The range is all real numbers, as you can tell. And then the last one is identifying the graphs of conic sections. So let's just look at this real quick while I erase everything. Identify the center and the intercepts of each conic session. Then find the domain and range. In part B, each interval on the graph represents one unit. Okay, well the center is easy enough. The center is 0, 0. The x-intercepts, where is it across the x-intercept? 
negative 6, 0, and 6, 0. What are the y-intercepts? 0, 4, and 0, negative 4. Okay, so the domain be all real numbers between negative 6 and 6. And the range is all real numbers between negative 4 and 4. All right, next example. Let's look at this. The center of this is 0, 0. It's hyperbola. All right, the intercepts are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the intercepts, the x-intercepts, are negative 5, 0 and 5, 0. There are no y-intercepts. The domain is x is less than or equal to negative 5 and x is greater than or equal to 5. And the range is all real. Okay, we're not going to just kill a lot of this on this example. Today's lesson was more just to introduce you to circles, uh, hyperbolas, and ellipses. Okay.